This is not financial advice, but if you are a Shiba Inu holder, we have so much jam-packed information that you need to hear, and I want you to hit the subscribe button if you have not already. Many of you are new here and have not yet subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you can be up to date on all of the information as it comes out. So now, let's talk about it. Currently, at the time of this recording, because we need to get some groundwork and have a fundamental basis so we have a common understanding. Shiba Inu is currently four zeros and seven two, but it may change by the time you see this. Currently, it's up 3% on the day. It's up 161% in the last week, and it's up over 90 million percent in the last year. That is not a typo. I did not misspeak here. It is up over 90 million percent in the last year. Now, we have to talk about the supply. We have to talk about the market cap and how we get the price. But we have to update with official sources on Shiba Inu on how coin market cap and many other factors are impacting what's going on here. But before we even get there, let's update everyone on the options. So we got into a weekly call option on Disney, but then we were informed that the Kardashians had a partnership with Disney. So then it started to tank the stock down a little bit and then bring the option down with it. No one to hold them, no one to fold them. So we had to jump out of that. I tell you, if you get in a play and it's not going your way, you already know what time it is. It's time to get up out of it. Now, however, we got into a lucid call option and this one is up over 138%, and we made $2,198 on that so far. Let's get it. If you want to be up on the options place, hit the Discord link in the top comment, or learn how to do options for the first time, hit the Discord link, so then basically you can get into the options class. Lesson 3 is coming out very soon. Now, what's going on with Shiba Inu? There's a concept that I want you to understand, and it's called FUD. It's fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Now, why is this important? Because there's another acronym, it's called FOMO, the fear of missing out. There are many buyers who would be FOMO buyers, including the large institutions. They would have you think that the large institutions don't get FOMO and then they don't jump in and chase, but they oftentimes do. They're often behind the eight ball, they're often late to the party, so then the large institutions, they jump in. Now, I want you to see, because remember, you have fear, you have uncertainty. This is the key one today with Shiba Inu, the uncertainty. And let's go to it. And let's read where's the uncertainty. The uncertainty starts here. The Wall Street Journal, just one day ago, remember, one day ago, the Wall Street Journal says this. Shiba Inu coin price jumps could overtake meme cryptocurrency Dogecoin. Could? What do you mean could? Didn't we already overtake it? Right? Oh, uncertainty you know what let's go to another reliable source because we know the wall street journal has in the past been a very reliable source on stock market information but you know who else has been a really reliable source on stock market information forbes forbes says meme coin shiba inu surpasses doge by market cap as supporters petition robin hood to list it notice that both of these articles were posted when one day ago they were both posted one day ago but you might think to yourself didn't we already pass it? So look, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That uncertainty is suppressing the price. Now let's look at the root of the cause. What is the root of the cause? Most large institutions, most publicly, public news outlets, mainstream media, a lot of them are getting their information from CoinMarketCap. It is a website, and let's go over CoinMarketCap. When you go over there, you'll notice that the market cap of the company or a coin is basically how much are all of the coins worth together. Now, Shiba Inu, it says on CoinMarketCap that they're number nine. They're ranked number nine. Bitcoin is one. Ethereum is two. Shiba Inu is nine. Dogecoin is 10, according to this. But let's make it make sense. Notice they said the market cap is 39 billion. And then they said Dogecoin is 38 billion. So, okay, that means the Wall Street Journal. Guess what, guys? According to this, you're wrong. And Forbes is right. Dogecoin is actually behind Shiba Inu. So we did it. We did it, right? Let's keep going because remember, the uncertainty. Let's check out the official Twitter account of Shiba Inu and it's SHIB with the blue check. Now, they said this, SHIB Army, we have not stopped working to make sure CoinMarketCap provides answers in regards to the circulation issue as reported by many of you basically earlier today. So, Shout out to everybody who watched the video yesterday and went on to then talk to Shiba Inu on Twitter and then just basically report what was going on because now they're getting some answers. So watch this. Watch what they responded. So CoinMarketCap is in the direct messages of Shiba Inu and they're having a conversation. And Shiba Inu on Twitter, they posted this. So you can go check it for yourself. 
Coin Market Cap said this, and Coin Market Cap has 3.1 million followers, and this is the evidence right here. I highlighted it and I underlined it in red. They said that there's a bug caused by their engineering team's migration to new infrastructure. This is what they told the official Shiba New Twitter account. So, in my opinion, it is very weird timing that when people who would normally be categorized as poor or people who would normally be categorized as middle class start making so much money consistently that all of a sudden there's an issue with the market cap number all of a sudden but i'll let you be the judge on whether you think it's just a coincidence so we won't speculate here but we just get to the facts now remember shiba inu has a supply that is capped at one quadrillion you have billions you have trillions and then you have quadrillion is after that but remember and then we're going to talk about the supply again and we're going to talk about how it works within market cap and how coin market cap is not only wrong once it's wrong twice allegedly supposedly according to shiba inu but let's go so remember vitalik who is basically ethereum's co-founder what did he do he burned it and those of you who watched yesterday's video you remember this he burned about 50 percent of them basically on may 16th and he burned about 410 trillion or actually not trillion 410 quadrillion of them so many of them are burned out of existence meaning that you should never see them again and they should not count in the circulating supply they should not count in the price at all because they're as if they don't even exist anymore so now let's go to some of the facts again shiba inu on twitter they posted what they think is actually and of course they're the official website they're the official speakers and developers of shiba inu so what they say should be what it actually is and now what they're saying is the actual market cap and the actual supply is totally different from coin market cap let's go back and double check what coin market cap is saying is going on coin market cap said remember that shiba inu has the ninth biggest market cap of any cryptocurrency at 39 billion right but they said that the supply is 549 trillion. So if you take the market cap and you divide that by the supply, then you're going to get a number. And what number do you get? You get about four zeros and seven. But according to Shiba Inu on Twitter, what they are basically saying is they're using the wrong market cap and they're using the wrong supply to get the right number. So I'll say that again. They're using the wrong market cap and wrong supply to get the right number. So the price that you see is accurate, but the market cap and the supply is inaccurate. So let's go to the facts. They retweeted a message from Shiba Informer and it says this, Shitoshi mentioned this, no real Shib supply can go up. So Shiba knew their supply can't go up. And I'll read it again. No way that real Shiba supply can go up. So the supply is not going up. And then they said this, this site tells you the price and the market cap, and it reflects the current supply. And what is it? It's Shiba Inu Calculator, Shiba Inu Calculator online. And when you go there, and remember, Shiba Inu on Twitter, the official website, told us that these are the accurate numbers. And the accurate numbers are, the current price is four zeros and seven two. The market cap is not 39, it's 28 billion not 39 billion 28 billion and then the supply is not that 594 trillion or whatever number it was it's actually 394 trillion so understand coin market cap is using the wrong supply and they're using the wrong market cap to get the correct price shiba calculator online is using the correct market cap in the correct total number of tokens which is the supply to get the right price so the price is accurate coin market cap is adding in a level of complexity and i always try to tell you this whenever you see complexity or some type of an error or anything like that and it's happening at a really odd time what often happens is there could be just people in the way there could be a coincidence i'll let you be the judge of that or it could be them trying to control what's going on here through complexity or through fear uncertainty of the market cap uncertainty of the supply and doubt which is scaring people away people like things to be concrete and they like to understand it very easily when they have to think very deeply like we are doing right here right now about the supply and how it doesn't really make sense with everything going on the average person won't go by and do research like this 
and then they won't understand why it's not shooting through the roof. And then when they see articles come out from very reputable sources, like the Wall Street Journal, which is contradicting Forbes, they're both contradicting each other. When they see things like this, they're just unsure, and then they don't buy in. So then this helps to suppress the price. But you know what? There are two good things that came out of this. The first one is, if Shiba Inu's market cap is currently under Dogecoin, if Dogecoin's market cap is actually really 38 billion and Shiba Inu's market cap is currently basically 28 billion, then we still have 10 billion more or even 11 billion more to finally definitively pass Dogecoin and stay over it definitively and be the concrete Dogecoin killer that it was set out to be. That would be a huge catalyst for it. And then all of the news outlets will start to talk about it and then they'll start to pump it again if this happens. Now, that's one thing, actually passing Doge definitively and then holding it. And then the next thing is with Robinhood. So we have an update on Robinhood's information. And again, if you have not clicked the subscribe button by now, I just wanna remind you again to subscribe to this video and hit the notification bell so you can be up to date on all of this information. It's super important, especially if you're invested into a coin or into a stock, I want you to really understand it. Don't invest in things you don't understand. And I just don't have it in my heart to leave you uninformed. Now, what's going on with Robinhood, our second catalyst? Robinhood, they had a conference call with their earnings just recently, and they mentioned cryptocurrency. And what did they say? They said that Robinhood executives on a conference call, they talked about listing additional cryptocurrencies. And then they said this, their CFO, his name is Jason Warnick. He said that we're basically being mindful and diligent in this space. It's evolving from regulatory perspective. So basically, Robinhood got into a lot of trouble with taking away the buy button with AMC and all of the other stocks in January when that happened earlier. So what they're doing is they're sort of tiptoeing and trying to make sure that they don't make a mistake. Now, they even went on to elaborate on that. And then they said, there's been a number of questions raised about coins on other platforms being potentially unregistered securities. So for a coin to get on Robinhood, Robinhood has to double check and triple check and quadruple check just to be sure that the coin is registered with the government, with the SEC and all of the official outlets that it has to be listed with. So this is one of the reasons that Robinhood basically said that they're not moving on it just yet. But then they expanded on it again. And then they said, we think it's the right thing, not just for their shareholders, but also for the company to apply diligence to any new coins. And then I highlighted this in blue, just for you. It says, we do hear our customers, so they hear you about Shiba Inu. And if you want them to have Shiba Inu, then keep on them. Keep talking about it, keep the conversation going if you want them to have it, because they say that they're listening. And then he says they're working as fast as they can to make sure that the compliance is actually there with the coins that they want to list. They want to make sure that they are actually registered in the appropriate avenues before they list it on Robinhood. And then they said on the bottom here, they don't want to make any missteps. So Robinhood is under a lot of fire and they're trying to not add fuel to it. But let's see the price targets currently. And then family, I hope you have a great Friday, but the price targets are this. They say in 2021 now, they can see this thing basically doubling from here to about three zeros, one, four. So just know, family, I want you to hit the Discord link. I see you over there. The Discord family is growing this week like it's never been growing before. I love y'all and I love to see it. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. Again, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. Go check out my guy, Uncle Larry. Check out Shiba New videos. Go check out my guy, Stock Mo. And then basically go check out EV videos and all kind of stock information like that. Salute to y'all. Hope you have a good weekend, everybody. And if you can't handle the heat, you already know what time it is, baby. I love y'all again. Take care.